Oh, hi there, Dale. This is Christian. Um, I'm down here in Santiago, Chile, here in South America, and I'm doing an entry to your contest. First of all, congratulations on hitting uh, Dan, that landmark 100 uh, subscriber. That's awesome. I hope you get many, many more with this contest and with the future videos. I was watching um, some of your older videos and you have a great uh, and very eclectic collection um, and this is my entry to your contest I know you are a big uh, Tom Petty fan and uh, the name of the contest was uh, related to the traveling Wilburys and, and the, the guys that were part of, of, of the band uh, unfortunately I don't have any um, solo uh, work from neither Dylan Betty, George Harrison, Roy Orbison, or uh, I forgot the name of Jeff Lynn from Hello. But you had another, um, you also uh, were asking if we can uh, su suggest or recommend uh, some artists or albums to, so to, to you to, uh, to listen. So I'm going to use that. Um, Prerogative, and I'm going to try to suggest you some artists uh, or records or albums that I think you might like, um, considering all the albums, all the artists that you have in your collection. As I was telling you, was watching some of your older videos when they when you, you were showing all your CDs collection, and I think you may like this. I hope so. First of all, um, I would like to to show you this band. I don't know if you know them. They are the Black Crows. They are a band from Atlanta, Georgia. They are a really a good old blues uh, hard rock band. Um, they this is their second album. It's the Southern Harmony and Musical Companion. You may know them or remember them because of the big uh, kind of big hit they had with their first album, uh, Shake Your Money Maker, and the cover they did of the old uh, Otis Redding um, song. Uh, oops, I forgot the name of the song. Uh, Hard to handle. Yes. So this is their second album, and I also a great, great one. I think you may like them. They have a very uh, Led Zeppelin, uh, The Faces, Rolling Stones influences, very blues oriented, uh, uh, with all those um, styles that were very uh getting into a trendy way in the early 90s uh, i think you you're gonna like this very much so this is my first suggestion the black cross and the southern harmony and musical company next i have um a band from australia and the name of the band is the living end this is a three-piece uh, band um, they are um, they are kind of a punk rockabilly style of music band really really good one um, this is the only album i have but they have many many releases this is a great one this was from the early 2000 great one if you like um, a little bit of punk uh, with uh, some uh, rockabilly influences you are going to like, like this one. The name of the album is Roll On and it's from the, the Living End and they are from Australia. Next, it's it's a band that I, I saw you, you had um, one album uh, as a CD. You show uh, from this band the album Pork Soda from Primus. And I'm going to uh, suggest you, you give it a try to their earlier album earlier. Album it's uh, sailing the sea of cheese. This is a great one. This is awesome. If you like uh, some uh, progressive uh, rock, if you like uh, Cream Crimson, if you like Rush, I think you're gonna love Primus. If you can uh, get over sometimes uh, the kind of goofy uh, lyrics of Les Claypool and his uh, voice, then it's maybe not for everyone. You're going to love this very very much. He has two big songs and here is uh, Jerry was a race car drive that's the first one and Tommy the cat I think you're going to love this album 
and you're gonna love this 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 one. If you, if you like some some alternative music, this is it for you. Primus Sailing the Sea of Cheese. Next, uh, going on with the alternative. If you like a progressive hard rock, if you like math rock, and uh, with um, lots of uh, Pink Floyd influences, um, very very uh, dark, heavy. You're going to love love tool this is their first album made this is their first full length album and it's uh, undertow we did two big songs here um sober and uh oh i forgot the name of that on prison sex sorry that's that i want this is uh, the first album you're going to love it it's it's not an easy uh, listening to uh, to tool uh, with uh, the latest uh, albums because they are getting too long their songs. I think this is the perfect one to get into into their material because the the length of the songs is is not that much. They are a little bit more uh, straightforward, and you, I think you're gonna love this very very much. This is uh, another um, suggestion tool undertow. Next, I uh, have. Uh, uh, vinyl from a Danish band, and the name is this um, DAD and the album No Left, No Fuel Left for the Pilgrims. This is from 1989 on the Warner Bros. label. If you like cow punk, the style of music cow punk, you're going to like them very, very much. This is very hard rock, this is very um, well written. This, the songs are very funny, very interesting. Uh, if you like some some gritty vocals from the from the singer, you're going to love it very much. If you like some good old uh, fun music, fun rock, some as I was saying, uh, cow punks, cow punk uh, music, you're going to love uh, DAD. The DAD is, is this Disneyland Disneyland After Dark. They had to change because of the of the lawsuit that the Disney company was uh, putting out on them because of, of the name of, of the band but this is a great one DAD I know if you left for the pilgrims and finally a classic classic album uh, from 1970 uh, I don't know if you have this album or if you like the, this artist and it's uh, Santana Abraxas awesome album this is from 1970 this is an, or, is an original uh, children copy from uh, 1970 this is a mono edition and and here we have uh, two big songs uh, black magic woman of course the pretty green song and i hope you're feeling better and and also uh, they have on on that song uh, it was recorded by greg raleigh the that later he went on to play with uh, journey so this is my classic uh, suggestion for you santana praxis I don't know if, if you like uh, some classic uh, hard rock uh, with some Latin uh, influences. Uh, of course, Santana being from Mexico, you have to get those Hispanics uh, classic uh, style of music, the, 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 the sound of the guitar and the sound of the, um, of the drums of the, and the congas and all those uh, instruments that he used to have in the early days. So here it is, my final suggestion, Santana. Uh, so that is the uh, hope you like my suggestions hope they maybe you can check them some of those and and maybe who knows you can find out some good new bands maybe new bands or some kind of some records that you will pass over in the time so that's it uh, i'm not going to ramble anymore i'm going now in nine minutes so this is Christian saying goodbye. Hope to see you in the in the future making some new videos. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you.